In this video, we're going to show you how we made this gorgeous custom table for our Alfred the Great episode. And with these techniques, you can make river, stream, marsh terrain for any period or any genre. So stay tuned. We start with a 4x4 piece of polystyrene insulation board from the local hardware store. To avoid warping, we recommend buying the 2 inch thickness. We then sketch the features on the board with a marker and start cutting out the rivers and coastal areas. I'm using a retractable hobby knife, but if you have a Dremel, this job is much faster. Next, you want to take a sanding block and smooth out any of the rough edges. You can see my coastal shoreline is a bit rough, but that's okay. We'll fill it in shortly. I like to use liquid nails because it's a great adhesive, but it's also easy to apply with a caulk gun. I'm going to spread this in all the low-lying areas I carved out to help hide any jagged edges, but also to provide some texture. I'm also spreading a few strips of it along my paths so that I can dry brush those areas later with some texture. While the liquid nails is still wet, I'm taking some gravel and small rocks I picked up in the street and using those to make a few outcroppings of rock and rough ground. After this dries, it's time for a coat of dark brown paint followed by a light dry brushing of tan. As you can see, I'm only worried about highlighting the shorelines and the pathways for now. But what about those big empty patches? Well, we're going to fill those with sections of teddy bear fur, like this. Using scissors, cut the fur to fit the areas you want to cover. Then, get a can of olive green spray paint and lightly dust the fur with a thin coat of paint. While the fur dries, I'm going back to the board with some cheap gray craft paint to cover all the rocks and gravel. It's okay to be liberal and messy because as soon as you're done, you're going to go back with some light gray and brush on some quick highlights. To wrap up the painting, I'm using this off-white color to lightly dry brush the beach areas of the coastline just to help them stand out a bit more. Next, we're cracking open a fresh tube of liquid nails to apply the teddy bear fur. I also use some Elmer's glue on the back of the fur itself. Once all the sections are glued down and dry, it's a good idea to fluff the fur where it gets matted down. I'm using these $1 paint brushes for reeds. Use scissors to snip off the bristles and group them into clusters. I also picked up this mat from a craft store to add other aquatic plants. These green plastic plants are glued down to the board with a hot glue gun. You also want to use hot glue to attach clumps of the paintbrush bristles. This process took about 20 minutes as you have to glue them one clump at a time. These dollar brushes have now served their purpose. I used four different types of flock and static grass to help mask the edges of the teddy bear fur sections and blend them with the rest of the tabletop. In the final step, the water, and a board this big takes a lot of resin. Here in the U.S., the cheapest sort of bulk resin is a company called U.S. Composites, which you can order online. It's a 50-50 mixture, and you'll pour the hardener into the resin liquid. The number one mistake people make when mixing resin is not stirring long enough. Each cup takes four to five minutes to stir properly. If you stop too soon, your resin will be cloudy or tacky. When you pour the resin, it helps to have a hair dryer to draw out any bubbles. Finally, you'll see that I leave a paint can in the middle of the board to help keep my table from warping while the resin cures overnight. To complete the table, we're just going to add some trees and some lichen. As you can see, our trees have pins. We do have a tutorial on how to do that available on our channel. And the pins make it easy to just stick the trees right into the styrofoam board. If you want to check out a tutorial on how to make the trees with the pins, check out the video coming up next. And if you want to get a copy of the Raven Feast rules, visit www.ravenfeast.com.